It's no secret that Georgia's film tax credit is one of the major reasons for the significant growth of the TV and film industry in the state. That growth has fueled development. There's now more than 120 sound stages across Georgia. And when construction on these sound stages here at Assembly is complete, that number will grow even more. As we look at the future of film in Georgia, it's also important to remember where we started and why Georgia first attracted filmmakers. I mean, we had a history in, in the film uh, business. You know, Jimmy Carter started our office actually in 1973 because of the movie Deliverance, which shot in Raven County in 1972. So kind of inauspicious beginnings as that, as that went, but he realized that this is, you know, money coming from outside the state and bringing money to a very poor part of the state, and he wanted to figure out how to get more. As the head of the Georgia Film Office, Deputy Commissioner Lee Thomas is more than familiar with the TV, film, and gaming productions in the state. But she's also a Georgia native who knows her state history. So you think about the 70s and the 80s here in Georgia, um, you know, all of like Glory and Driving Miss Daisy and Fried Green Tomatoes and, you know, My Cousin Vinny and like all of the Burt Reynolds movies, right? So their uh, crew base had, had been built up and there was some infrastructure in place. Fast forward to the 90s and film and TV projects were still happening in Georgia but at a slow and steady rate. We would do probably, you know, in the late 1990s, we might do five or six projects in a year. Jump ahead to today. Normally we do about 350 or more. So that's, you know, that's gonna be a television series or uh, feature films or commercials or music videos, but mostly uh, television series and feature films. The driving factor, an impressive tax incentive passed in 2008. Georgia's Entertainment Industry Investment Act provides tax credits of up to 30% on film, television, and digital projects. That's a significant cost savings for companies producing feature films, TV series, commercials, and interactive games and animation. I mean, everything completely changed for us. I mean, we were trying to find any kind of warehouse that could support film and television. We had shows in the World Congress Center, which is typically used for trade shows and is back to using for trade shows. We definitely had to find a way to find more stage space. And I think, you know, in the metro area, there's, there's very little of this kind of land that is perfect for a soundstage development like Gray is building here. The shortage of stage space is one reason why entertainment developments like Assembly are needed for continued growth. That growth is what has those embedded in the film industry thrilled to see what happens in the future with assembly and at sound stages across the state. It's amazing uh, to think what could happen. And now with the proliferation of all the different platforms and streaming services, um, it's hard to say where it could end up. As a Georgian who grew up here, who grew up in North Georgia, it's hard for me to fully articulate how exciting it is to drive by the assembly plant, the former GM plant, and see Gray TV building a soundstage complex right there, to be building studios right there. I believe this is going to be part of what transforms the industry here and really makes it a permanent business for Georgia. I hope to be able to work at Assembly in the future. I'm really looking forward to that. It's just an exciting thing, not just for the film industry, but for the state of Georgia as a whole. It's like it brings in so much work, so many jobs, there's so many vendors involved with it. It touches so many different aspects and elements of uh, people's lives that, that a lot of people don't think about. Our state is an incredible place to live and to work. Gray TV created Why Georgia as a way to highlight all of the unique aspects of the TV and film industry and how it keeps growing. I'm Monica Pearson.